President-elect Joe Biden tonight in his first comments about President Trump refusing to concede the 2020 race. I just think it's an embarrassment, um, quite frankly. It will not help the president's legacy. Biden barreling ahead with his presidential yeah. transition. So I'm confident that uh, the fact that they're not willing to acknowledge we won at this point is uh, not of much consequence in our planning and what we're able to do between now and January 20th. His team has spent months mapping out a quick start for a future Biden White House. Their work now hitting a roadblock. The Trump appointee who heads the General Services Administration has not officially recognized Biden as president-elect. Doing so would release additional resources and intelligence, including for Biden, the president's daily brief. Obviously, the PDB would be useful, but it's not necessary. I'm not the sitting president now. And so uh, we don't see anything in slowing us down. While President Trump isn't acknowledging Biden's victory, many world leaders are. The president-elect fielding phone calls and congrats from the heads of France, Germany, Ireland, Canada, and the UK. I'm letting them know that America's back. Biden's comments coming as many prominent Republicans are pushing President Trump's baseless claims that voter fraud might have swung the election, despite a lack of evidence. Asked how he can be sure Republicans will work with him once in office if they won't acknowledge his win, Biden was confident. They will. They will. 